Good day everyone. Today we will talk about verbs and the three components which is voice, aspect, and mood. First is we will identify what is verb. Verb are action words. Some verbs express feelings, conditions, and emotions. Verbal affixes give the verbs their inflection with respect to voice, mood, and aspect. In Cebuano, almost all words can become verbs by affixation. First, we will tackle about the first components of verbs, which is voice. Voice is the difference in affix formation of a verb to indicate whether the subject acts or receives the influence of the action. Voice can be either passive or active. First, we will talk about passive voice. Passive, when the subject is the object or instrument of the action. Second is the active voice. Active, if the subject is the doer of the action. Verbs in the passive voice fall into the three categories. These are direct passive and direct passive and instrumental passive when we talked about direct passive when the direct object of the verb is subjectivalized for example lutuon cook giluto cooked lutua command second categories of passive voice is the indirect passive Indirect passive is when the indirect object is subjectivalized. Examples, sakai, sakyan, gisakyan, saki. The third categories in passive voice is the instrumental passive. Instrumental passive is when the thing or instrument through which the action is performed is subjectivalized. For examples, palit. Ipalit, gipalit. Second components of verb is the mood. When we talked about mood, it is the inflection form of a verb to express whether the action or state it denotes is conceived as fact or in some other manner as command, possibility, or wish. Mood for Cebuano verbs may be classified as follows. These are temporal. Durative, optative, stative, and reciprocal. Okay, so let's identify its category. First is the temporal. When we talk about temporal, the action is instantaneous or immediately completed. For example, Milinkod siya. He sit down. Second is the durative. The action lasts over a longer period of time. For example, magsulat siya libro. He'll write a book. Third is the optative. When we talked about optative, it is the action expresses ability, possibility, or when it is accidental or unintentional. For example, nakapalit ragayod siya og sapatos. He finally managed to buy a shoes. Second example is, Nakaligis sila og iring. They accidentally ran over a cat. Fourth is the stative. When the action expresses emotions, feelings, or conditions. For example, Nasuko siya naku. She's angry at me. Second example is, Nahigugma siya kang summer. He loves summer. Lastly is the reciprocal, when it expresses exchange of action between two or more actors. For example, makikita siya naku uniyang hapon. He wants me to meet him this afternoon. Second example is, Magbinailuay kami og 
huna huna karun labut ni ana. The last component of verb is the aspect. When we talked about aspect, it is the nature of action of a verb as to its beginning, duration, completion, or repetition, and without reference to its position in time. Sibuano verbs are inflected for aspect to with. Action not begun may be one that is planned or given as command. Action begun. This includes completed ones and those that are still in progress.